Joe went to the Harvard University. A Mike became his best friend there. Besides academics, Joe focused on the soccer as well. By dint of his hard work, he soon became the captain of the soccer team. All the team members respected him. Joe's inspiring story was shown on the television. Have articles been correctly used in all sentences? This question is always on our mind when we write or speak something. While we must know where to use articles, especially definite article the, it's equally important we know where not to use them. Therefore, in this last lesson on articles, we'll study about zero articles and get familiar with situations and rules where we don't need to use any article. Friends, my name is Heman Singh Rana and you're watching in live in English, making the language entertaining, lively and functional. So let's get started. First and foremost, we don't use any article with proper nouns. And how would we identify a proper noun? If a person, place or a thing is particular, has a specific name and is capitalized, we can say that it's a proper noun. Now let's see some examples of proper nouns with zero articles or without any article. Mark finishes his work on time. Steve has joined Microsoft. I want to study in Harvard University. Australia is the sixth largest country. The Queen's official residence is Buckingham Palace. But there are a few exceptions. In two cases, we can use article A or an with a proper noun, such as names. First, when a person is complete stranger to us and we want to show that we have no idea about the person we are talking about. For example, A John is on the phone. He wants to talk to you. A Mr. Gates wants to meet you. An Alice has come searching for you. In all three sentences, the indefinite article before a proper noun shows the speaker has no idea of the person he's talking about. In the second case, when we use a proper noun as a common noun for comparison or finding similarities, we use indefinite article before it, as in Stuart thinks he is a Cristiano Ronaldo. Jason is a good player, but he is not a Michael Jordan. A versatile singer, Jane thinks she is a Madonna. With names, there are two more exceptions in relation to definite article the. First, when someone possesses qualities of a great person to show similarity, we use the. Second, when we want to refer to the entire family of a person, we can do that by just using the last name in plural with definite article the. For example, Stuart is the Cristiano Ronaldo of our college team. Laura is the Virginia Wolf of her age. In both sentences, we are finding similarities in the qualities of the grades with that of the respective subjects. We have invited the butlers to the party. The Johnsons have left for vacation. In both sentences, we are not only mentioning Mr. Butler and Mr. Johnson, but also their wife, children and anyone in blood relation. In other words, the whole family. Just remember, these were exceptions and not the norm. The rule stays intact. Zero articles with proper nouns. Moving on. When we mention positions, jobs or roles with verbs elected, re-elected, made or appointed, we don't use any article. For example, Joe was made captain of the hockey team. Daniel was elected director of the planning board. Martha was appointed chairperson of the committee. Members re-elected George president of the club. Articles are also omitted before the names of games, illnesses, diseases and substances used in general sense. For example, I play chess whenever I get time. 
Basketball is quite popular among youth. Football is the most played sport in the world. Water is the elixir of life. Iron exposed to moisture rusts easily. She is wearing jewelry made of gold. A good diet can prevent cancer. Children have been immunized against measles. Pollens can worsen the symptoms of asthma. Interestingly, with minor illnesses like fever, common cold and headache, we use indefinite article. For example, he's got a cold. I'm running with a fever. I have a headache. Kindly note that only headache takes an article. The rest of the aches such as backache, toothache, earache, etc. do not take any article. Moving on with words both and all. Article the can be used or dropped. Zero article won't change the meaning. For example, all members are attending the meeting. All players are practicing hard. Both captains are equally competent. Both parties have read the terms of the agreement. In certain expressions of time, word all is not followed by a definite article the. For example, the kids have spent all day playing outdoors. Elsa and her friends celebrated all night. Joe has been working all week. The salon is open all year. The team has played well all summer. Television and radio as institutions do not take any article, but when used as physical things, both are preceded by an article. For example, Samantha's voice is best suited for radio. They both have good experience of working in radio. Sara works as a newsreader in television. Television is the right medium to reach out to people. Sentences containing phrases watch television, see it on television, listen to the radio, hear it on the radio are quite common. As a device or thing, both radio and television can carry an article, as in, I have gifted them a television. There is a radio over there. Can you turn on the radio? Or can you turn on the television? Now let's talk about geographical areas which we use quite frequently and at times wrongly with articles. Please remember, we do not use articles with planets such as Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Seven continents, Africa, Antarctica, Asia, Australia, Europe, North America and South America. Countries, states and towns. India, Sri Lanka, Germany, France, Canada, Delhi, London, Washington, Beijing and so on. Mountains and lakes. Lake Superior, Dull Lake, Wooler Lake, Lake Wanaka, Lake Baikal, Mount Everest, Mount Etna, Mount Kilimanjaro. Streets and lanes, Chandni Chowk, Baker Street, Wall Street, Bourbon Street and so on. Avenues and Boulevards, Michigan Avenue, Summerside Avenue, Santa Monica Boulevard, Hollywood Boulevard, etc. Roads, Oxford Road, Queens Road, Abbey Road, Orchard Road and so on. Highways with numbers. National Highway 1, Route 66, Highway 163, European Route E80 and so on. As exceptions are always there, you may come across some roads and streets preceded by Article The. But names of most streets and roads don't carry definite Article The. Names of days, months, seasons, festivals or holidays and parts of the day carry zero articles. We normally say, I'll meet you on Sunday. In India, it's very hot in summer. Diwali is the festival of lights and sweets. 
we have kept the meeting at noon. We will reach home after sunset. I like to wake up before sunrise. However, we generally say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Words like school, university, church, court and prison are quite frequently used in our daily communication. We use zero article with them when we mean the purpose for which these buildings or structures exist. Article or no article with these words can change the meaning of a sentence completely. To understand this, see the following examples carefully. Children must go to school. Children have gone to the school. In the first sentence, it is not a specific school or a building, but a general idea of education we are talking about, that our children must get education. In the next sentence, we are talking about a specific school where kids have gone to study. Similarly, Steve is in prison for theft. Mark has gone to the prison to meet Steve. In the first sentence, we mean the purpose of prison. Steve is a prisoner. In the second, it is the building we are talking about. Let's see a few more examples. We moved court against the company. I met my friend in the court. We need to rush Mike to hospital. I am at the hospital where Mike is admitted. You just need to remember, when the reference is to the visit or the building, we use an article. If the focus is solely on the purpose, we use zero articles. So with this, we have come to an end to our discussion on zero articles in particular and definite and indefinite articles in general. To check the previous lessons, you can click on the playlist visible on your screen. If you have any doubts related to articles, do get in touch with me. In the next lesson, we'll enter the world of adverbs. I'll be back with you soon with a new lesson. Till then, keep learning, keep growing, goodbye.